So one third of our lives we spend with an activity that we actually poorly understand and have very little control over it. It's very clear that sleep plays an important role in our daily well-being. If kids don't sleep enough, they get cranky and the adults get less performing. And actually, if we sleep too long, the same happens. It is also very important for our health. And if you're looking at patients that suffer from diabetes or Alzheimer's, for example, we see that their sleep behavior has changed. Similarly, in Parkinson's patients, we can actually detect changes in sleep behavior as an early sign for Parkinson's, even before those clinicians detect it. Myself, I started uh, looking at sleep when I was developing a mobile device for the pilots of Solar Impulse, record-breaking airplane that was flying around the world with only renewable energy. And the pilots had to be in this plane for five days and nights, so they had to find solutions how to deal with difficult sleeping. We all have our own strategy how we can get some better sleep or how we can go to bed. But honestly, who of you has actually taken the last time enough time and pauses to actually get to such a state? Well, clinicians, and uh, if you want to really know if you have a good sleep, you have to go to the sleep lab and monitor uh, your brain waves. Important characteristic of your sleep, it will be the slow waves, which you see below here, which is a synchronization of neurons that get the slow, nice, beautiful amplitudes, which are clearly distinguishable from uh, awake. If you're in this situation and you can't sleep, you go back to drugs. The problem with drugs is that they also alter your sleep patterns. And with that, we are not achieving the restful sleep that we would like to have. Furthermore, um, Dependence can happen, so you actually have to get more and more, so it's just a restricted solution in time. We have developed a mobile device that is actually capable of monitoring your sleep and at the same time stimulate you with auditory tones during sleep to put you into a deeper sleep. To explain you the principle, essentially what we're doing, we're playing tones in milli within milliseconds when we see such a slow wave arise. We play this tone, which is then trying to synchronize more neurons to fire together in order to further amplify these waves and therefore put you deeper into sleep. So what does this have to do with robotics? Well, in fact, the technologies that have been developed for developing miniaturized systems and algorithms to process signals in mobile robotics, flying robots, and so on that are small, they are also useful for medical technologies. And you think about it, the difference is not that big. A robot has to perceive its environment with sensors. It's going to try to build maps, process, and decide how she should or continue navigating in this environment. This in an environment where the robot also knows there are certain uncertainties, and we don't really know the full spectrum. Very similar with our device. We're monitoring the brain waves. We're capturing a certain physiological state of the human then trying to detect which state this is, and then deliver a certain medical intervention in order to modify the system, and then again monitor how this influence has changed the physiological state. So this robotic system is automated in very different ways. So we can det automatically detect which state of sleep you are, are you ready for such stimulation, and if you stimulate and you will be waking up, and we, we can actually correct this and reduce the volume of this stimulation. With this system, we actually achieved something where beforehand you had to, a human had to monitor in the lab, trying to manipulate the system in order to deliver the stimulations to a wearable system which the person can take home, sleep with it, and uh, act in an environment that is familiar. So we can do actually experiments over long periods of time. We can start thinking about research experiments that can last long for long-term effects, see the effects on uh, humans, how they behave, how they behave, change behaviors, are they still sleepy, are they still suffering from the same uh, diseases. And our goal for the future is really to deliver a medical device that actually can help also patients that have direct implications due to the disease on sleep and their well-being. Thank you very much.